Alrighty, in this episode, we'll be covering the installation of Lubuntu 13.10, right now on How to Do Linux. Alrighty, let's get started. Um, as I've said before, we're doing the installation of Lubuntu 13.10 in this episode. Uh, I've got it set up in a virtual box, so I don't make any changes to my actual machine, but this will pretty accurately replicate what would happen if you inserted the Lubuntu 13.10 installation disk into your computer and booted from the CD or DVD. We'll just click Start here and get started. Alright, the first thing you're going to see is a language list. Uh, I speak English, so I'm going to select English. Uh, then your options here, the five options here are try Lubuntu without installing, install Lubuntu, check disk for defects, test memory, or boot from first hard disk. Um, normally, if you knew what Lubuntu was, uh, how you were going to install it, you, you didn't need to worry about uh, taking a look at it first, you would just go immediately to the install Lubuntu option, but because I want to give you a little bit of a look at it while we're installing it, uh, I will choose the live CD option, which is try Lubuntu without installing. So we'll just hit enter, and it should progress from there. Alrighty, it looks like our system is booting up here. It's completely loaded up. Um, the resolution might be a bit wonky because it is uh, it is in the virtual box and it is just a live setup, so it might be a little goofy. But uh, why don't we see if we can fix that? Just to, you know, at the same time, give you a good idea of uh, what this distro looks like. Um, it is basically uh, Ubuntu with the LXDE environment uh, slapped onto it. So. Um, this is the LXDE menu. Pretty sleek looking for LXDE. I'm, I'm, I've been pretty impressed with the last couple of releases of Lubuntu, but uh, I think it should be in either Preferences or System Tools. Monitor Settings. There we go. Alright. Uh, it doesn't look like we can doesn't look like we can change it, uh, but that's okay. That's okay. You can still get the uh, a good idea as to how to do this. So, uh, this is the desktop that you'll see when you boot up from the CD. This is exactly what it'll look like. No changes except for maybe, of course, the resolution. But, uh, and then there's this this icon up in the upper left hand corner. Uh, install Lubuntu. You're just gonna double click that, and you should get the uh, the installation dialog box. All right, there's our dialog box. Again, you'll get the uh, language selector. Again, I speak English, so we'll select English and hit continue, and it should take you to the next screen there. All right, preparing to install Lubuntu. For best results, please ensure that this computer has at least 4.6 gigabytes available drive space and is connected to the internet. Mine uh, have both of those things being true about it, so. Um, I will select download updates while installing so you don't have to download a ton of updates uh, while when your uh, system is completely installed. Uh, now this isn't to say that you don't have to install a lot of updates. This just takes care of the download problem while it's installing so that you don't have to go through that whole lengthy uh, prog uh, process while it, when it's installed. So um, and then I'll also click to install uh, the third party software. Uh, I like to do this because uh, without the third-party software, a lot of stuff won't work. Uh, different video formats, different uh, web content, and other things like that. CDs, DVDs, a lot of them won't work without the third-party software. So I like to tick both of those and uh, while uh, during the installation process. So then we'll hit continue and see what's next. Alrighty, the next dialog box that we'll get is the installation type dialog box. It says, this computer currently has no detected operating systems, what would you like to do? Now, this is a, a virtual hard drive, so I'm not worried about using the entire disk. Um, 
So I'm going to use this option, Erase Disk and Install Lubuntu. Um, if you want me to show you how to do a dual boot with a Linux distro and Windows, let me know in a comment and I'll make a separate video for that. But right now, we just want to run through an installation uh, on, a, on a blank disk. So we'll erase the entire disk and install Lubuntu. And we will hit install now and wait for the next box. Alright, now it's going to ask us where we are so it can get the time right. Uh, I am here-ish. Uh, Detroit is the time zone I want to use. Uh, so select your time zone and then hit continue. Alright, now it's going to ask us our keyboard layout. I have a standard English US keyboard, so that's what I'll have selected. You have lots of different options here um, uh, for you know different different styles: uh, the Macintosh one, Dvorak, uh, you know, Russian, Serbo, Croatian, whatever that is, <laughs> and then uh, some programming ones. But I just have a uh, standard U.S. English keyboard, so I'll use that and uh, uh, hit continue. But you know, here you could type. Uh, type here and test out your keyboard or detect your keyboard layout. Uh, most of you will have a standard English US keyboard, uh, at least those of you in America, but uh, but once you've got that selected, uh, just select continue and uh, we'll wait for the next dialog box to open up. Alright, um, here it's going to ask us who we are, basic personal information, so uh, you can set up your user account. Um, I'm going to put my name is Vitalorian, uh, my computer's name, VirtualBox, Vitalorian VirtualBox, username Vitalorian. Uh, select a unique password, preferably something difficult, uh, something you can remember, but definitely something secure enough so that people couldn't guess it. Uh, and then if you are the only person using the computer and you want to just have it log in automatically, just tick this. I would not recommend it. Maybe I'm just paranoid, but I would always require the password to log in. And if you're super paranoid, you can encrypt the home folder so that without the password you can't get into it. Um, I'm not going to do that this time. I don't have a reason to, so we'll just select continue and let the installation go. All right, and from here, the installation will uh, just go through the motions and uh, install Lubuntu 13.10 on the hard drive. At the very end of the installation, there will be a dialog box that asks you if you want to reboot and use the actual system or if you want to continue testing it. Um, because we are installing it, I would recommend hitting reboot and uh, taking out the disk when it asks you to and just boot into your Lubuntu, uh, your Lubuntu system. But uh, that's it for today. I'm not going to make you sit through the actual installation process in the video here, but uh, everything else is really self-explanatory. So that is, that is it for today, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to check back once this is done installing for the uh, review of Lubuntu 13.10 here on How to Do Linux. I'll see you then.